guys have seen my video of how to hand inject well these are the six molds that I have as of right now I got these things in Thursday and I'm already getting pretty good at injecting uh, I'm gonna go through each one and I don't know if I'm gonna start selling baits or not but if I do it'll kinda give you an idea of what I start with um, start with pretty much the fundamentals of bass fishing um, I got a four inch tube here it's got a as you can see it's hollow right there but then it's got a hard nose that's going to help you with rigging and it's going to save you some money because you're not going to be ripping baits off all the time made of a soft durable stretchy plastic very nice you can flip that pitch that use it fish on the bottom use a tube jig on it you can use just about anything next is the four inch craw um, really thin claws I thought that they'd get ripped up by fish, but I tested them out, and they actually do not. Uh, they hold up because the plastic is stretchy and good. Um, Four-inch craw. This whole batch is in watermelon red color, but it's a really light, and I kind of like it like that. It's a little transparent, but it's still got that greenish color to it. A lot of red flake and some black flake. Just as my, tr I call this trophy hunter, but I mean watermelon red, trophy hunter, they're pretty much the same thing. So that's a four inch craw, Texas rig that, cut it off, use it as a jig trailer, really good swim jig trailer. These claws just fly through the water. Um, that's pretty much it with this one. I mean, Texas rig it, weightless or weighted, they all sink besides this, besides my drop shot worm. This is my beaver, um, four and a quarter inch beaver. Uh, I love fishing beavers. I mean, <laughs> there's not much I can say about this bait except beavers are just great baits to use. Uh, they catch fish. They just flat out catch fish. Uh, this is four and a quarter, like I said, in the watermelon red color. Uh, nice detail on the claws. Give you a little extra water displacement. Big old paddles on the side. Um, pretty much, this is just a great all-around bait. I like Texas rigging this thing. Weighted with about a quarter ounce bullet weight. And just letting it sink to the bottom and hop it. Uh, I've actually cut these off before and used them as jig trailers too. That's pretty nice. Next is the sweetest drop shot worm on the planet. From this angle, you, it may just look round to you guys, but you can see that thing is like a wedge. It's round and it goes to a wedge. Well, when you rig this flat right now, if I put my drop shot hook in like this, this thing gives off so much just craziness. It's awesome. This is five inch, five inch uh, drop shot worm, fully round, does not sink, so that's an advantage to that. Keeps it nice and nice and uh, nice and floating for your drop shot, so your worm isn't laying right against the line. It's laying out from the line. It helps you keep that thing out from the line. Uh, next is, I had to get this mold, I just had to. That's a 5 inch stick bait. Texas rig it, flip docks with it, weightless. Uh, I like to do that quite a bit. But then you can also do the conventional wacky rig, which a lot of kids do with this bait. Uh, just got so much nice action. Let me get the true center. It's just got so much nice action to it, it's just crazy. I love these kind of a bait. They just flat out produce fish. And then finally, I got my 7 and a quarter inch u-tail worm got a lot of action but as you can notice about this u-tail worm I'm gonna lay it out here look at how much body that's about three to four inches of body not even it's like maybe three inches of body and the rest is tail that's gonna give you a lot of water displacement the body sinks but the tail floats so you kids that love the Carolina rig this thing is gonna be floating up off the bottom while this is sitting down with your hook in it it sits like this I've seen it in the water It'll sit just like this, and it kind of gives them a little target. And then they're going to come in, and they're just going to engulf this bait. It's only 7 inches, so it's not that mega 10 inch, but it's still a really good bait to be using. Uh, that's my 6 baits. Give you kind of a run through again. Those are the 6 baits that I'm uh, currently making. Uh, kind of comment. I'm going to send out little samples to some people, so comment if you want one. Um, this has been Fishing Wisconsin, and I'll see you guys later.